What's going on guys? My name is Drew and welcome to episode 30 of this PES 2021 Master League save here at Liverpool. Important episode today, we've got the Champions League final. I'm going to play the Champions League final as one episode and then obviously the last two games, which are those two friendly matches, the charity games, will feature in the final episode where we'll also do a review of the season. Obviously, we finished the last episode disappointingly losing out on the Premier League title by a point to Manchester City. But we've got our chance of silverware here by hopefully getting the Champions League, which will complete a quadruple of tournaments this season, which uh, I don't think is too bad in our first season at Liverpool. Obviously, we need to decide what we're going to do going into next season. But uh, let's get into this Champions League final then and see if we can beat Paris Saint-Germain. It's going to be a tough ask. But uh, hopefully we can get something out of this season. And I think we deserve the Champions League. And uh, obviously it was one of the things we agreed with the board right at the start of the season that we would win. There was a purpose to fighting this far into a long season. Today's match takes us one step closer to winning the Champions League. The late great Maradona there pepping up the team. Getting them ready for this Champions League final. So this is the team that's going to play against Paris Saint-Germain today and it's nice that we can welcome back Alisson. Obviously Kelleher has deputised for the last, what, three games I think, uh, including the semi-final second leg of the Champions League against Bayern. So uh, he's back today for this final, which is good for us. Uh, we're going with Trent at right back, Gomez and Van Dijk at centre-backs, Robertson at left back, Captain Hendo protecting the back four with Gini, Thiago, Mo Salah, Bobby Firmino and Mane up front. Obviously you were expecting a tough team from Paris Saint-Germain and you can see that the, the big players are playing Mbappe, Neymar, etc. Interestingly, they're going with 76 rated Gazaniga in goal, who I think was Southampton goalkeeper, I think, at one point. Um, I think we talked before about this, that potentially Pez builds in the fact that Goalkeepers are rotated for tournament games, much like they are in real life. Obviously, um, I think the likes of Adrian Kelleher, for example, might play in the cup games. And we have Alisson in the Premier League. And I think that's the same for quite a few teams in the Premier League, etc. So maybe they've built that into this game. I'm not I'm not uh, too disappointed. The fact that they've picked uh, 76 rated Gazaniga instead of 85 rated Navas. And uh, interestingly, they've gone for two goalkeepers on the bench with 60 rated Innocent as well, who I've never heard of. But uh, obviously, other than the goalkeeper, a really strong Paris Saint-Germain team, as you'd expect. But uh, I'm hoping we come back with the trophy today. So our final chance of some silverware then. Fingers crossed we can take back the Champions League trophy to Anfield. Not sure that's the official trophy by the looks of it, but looks a good trophy to win. Oh, and it's at uh, Sporting Lisbon Stadium as well, I just noticed, I think. Salah, Firmino, Mane. Salah, and here's Firmino straight away, and we're 1-0 up. After three minutes, thanks to Bobby Firmino. 76 rated Gazaniga couldn't get near it. That could be the difference today. Good goal from uh, Bobby Firmino. And great start from Liverpool. Well won back by Gini. And threaded through by Salah. And an easy finish for the Bobby Dazzler. Paris Saint-Germain attacking now. And it's Draxler who literally had to put it either side of uh, Alisson then. But couldn't do it. That was a good chance for Paris Saint-Germain to level it up. So much danger in this uh, Paris Saint-Germain team as Mbappe almost gets in. Luckily there was too much on that ball. Well played by Salah. Held it up well so Trent can make the overlap. Trent pulls it across, and this is Thiago, straight to Gazaniga though. 
Stadium for the keeper when he doesn't even have to move his feet. Robertson. And this is Thiago. And Firmino's in again. And it's 2 0. Comfortable from Liverpool. And the Bobby Dazzler does it again. 2 0 Liverpool. Thiago this time with a through ball. I think that's Neymar marking uh, Firmino. Not known for his defensive uh, side. Neymar. Just lets Firmino run into space. That's a simple finish past Gazaniga. 2-0 up after half an hour. Exactly what Liverpool would want. Here's Mbappe though, turning. Oh, and it's, oh, it's an easy header really for Neymar. But again, just straight at Alisson. They've had two chances, Paris Saint-Germain, that you'd expect them to finish. This is Salah now. Still Salah. Oh, what a save. What a save that is. That was almost 3-0. Van Dijk easily wins the header. Liverpool can build again. And this is Jordan Henderson pushing forward and having a blast. I mean, 3-0 up before half-time would have probably killed the game off completely. Just over from uh, Hendo. And that's half-time. Two goals from Bobby Firmino. I mean, Liverpool going 2-0 up. Couple of chances for Paris Saint Germain, but straight at Allison, easily dealt with. A game that Liverpool have dominated. Second half, and already Paris Saint Germain giving the ball away, and Firmino's in for a hat trick. Good save again from the keeper, keeping uh, Paris Saint Germain in this at the moment. Paris Saint Germain should start pushing up so that we can uh, pick them off on the counter-attack, but so far that's not happening. What a tackle that was from uh, Mbappe. Not seen much of him. And uh, here come Paris Saint-Germain now with Bernat. And Gomez doesn't make the tackle, which is annoying. They've given away uh, a free kick in quite a dangerous area here. We don't want to let them back in it. Does he get the ball? Mm, kind of goes through the player getting the ball at the same time. Gomez doesn't think it's a free kick. How are they going to use this? Well, not surprisingly, Neymar's going to take it. And he crosses it in and it's headed over by Icardi. Not seen much of Icardi at all in this game. Not seen much of any Paris Saint Germain player, to be fair. They've pushed the defender up here by the looks of it, and they're in. And having just said that Icardi's not done anything in this game, they've got a goal back here. H hour into the game gone. And we've let them back in. It looks like they've pushed the defender up. Kerrer looks like he's playing up front, and he's the one that crosses it to Akadi in acres of space. Van Dijk gets drawn towards the ball along with Gomez. Uh, Alisson's not saving that. Liverpool will be wanting to get that two-goal lead back again quite quickly, if they can. Again, Paris Saint-Germain are going to be pushing forward. So Liverpool just need to pick them off. Firmino now. And Salah's played in. Pulls it back. And Firmino straight at the keeper. That was his chance for a hat-trick and to kill the game off, potentially. And this time Salah's played in by uh, Genie. And Mo Salah lasts it wide. And then Amino's going to come on for Salah now. Just to give us a bit more pace up front. Just wide from Salah. 
This is the defender again, and this is Neymar. Again, easily dealt with this time by Allison. Chini plays in Minamino. That might be a penalty. Oh, is it a free kick? It looked like it was in the area. The Ox is coming on for Thiago. To me, it looked like it was in the area. Minamino's only just come on, wins the free kick. It is just outside the area. And we're not very good on free kicks, so I might switch it and give it to somebody else to take. Apparently Bobby Firmino can take a free kick. So for his hat-trick, let's see if that's true. And again, we can't seem to beat the wall. Corner though, with five minutes left. As uh, Jota's going to come on. Going to pull it back out to Hendo to hit. Probably shouldn't have hit that. Still 2-1 to Liverpool. <laughs> Still rising. Oh, well defended by uh, Allison. Liverpool clear it, and Liverpool can break. If Jota can get that ball out to Minamino, which he does. Firmino can't win it, though. Firmino's on his last legs, I think. And Mbappe could break. He doesn't. Liverpool win the Champions League thanks to Bobby Firmino's goals. Four minutes and 30 minutes. Obviously, Icardi getting a goal back, but doesn't matter. Liverpool somehow hold on. And that's a famous quadruple in our first season. The boys celebrate with the late great Maradona. As Hendo lifts the trophy, Liverpool Champions League winners in our first season. We didn't manage to win the league, but at least we managed to pick something decent up. <laughs> Look at Robertson. Photo opportunity. A game we completely dominated. Not in terms of possession, but in terms of shots. Gazaniga had quite a decent game, actually. Who got man of the match? Bobby Firmino, not surprisingly, with two goals. So that will complete episode 30 of this PES 2021 save here at Liverpool. So that Champions League gets added to the other trophies we've won this season so it's a famous quadruple the fifa club world cup the uefa super cup and the fa community shield and obviously the champions league that we just won the premier league eluded us this season as previously mentioned but if we decide to do another season with liverpool that's what we'll be going for next season as well as all the other tournaments we can potentially win so the final episode will be those final two games of the season the two charity type games, both at Anfield against the World Selection and I think it's against the testimonial players that are retiring this season. So be interesting to see what those games are like, obviously not played them before, see how we get on in those. But hopefully you've enjoyed this episode, please make sure you like, comment and subscribe. Happy New Year to you all as well, obviously we've just ticked in to 2021, hopefully 2021 will be a better year than 2020 and uh yeah i'll see you in the next episode